It's time to get out of the comfort zone because these people aren't playing games. We're going to organize. Humanity's going to come together. We are swinging muskets here, toe to toe with the globalists. They're bloodied. We're bloodied. It is absolute total war. Welcome. It is Thursday, January 19th, 2012. I'm Alex Jones, your host. This is InfoWars Nightly News. Coming up after the break, investigative uh, journalist and reporter Rob Dew will be interviewing another great investigative journalist, Pepe Escobar, on the incredible developments concerning the United States, Israel, England, and NATO moving towards war with Iran. Now, that doesn't mean it's a foregone conclusion but the clock has moved a few minutes closer to midnight. And that leads us to our first story of the evening. ABC News, and this just broke in the last hour, uh, is now reporting that U.S. commando team is getting close to the Iranian border. You know that proxy terror groups have been hired by the West, Israel and the U.S., to stage terror attacks inside Iran, including al-Qaeda groups they're using. An Army officer speaking on behalf of Special Forces confirmed Thursday that a team of highly trained Personnel that excel in uncertain environments are operating near Iran. Uh, Spencer Ackerman uh, just published the scoop on Wired's Danger Room blogs. They actually broke it. The primary day-to-day -day mission of the team, known as Joint Special Operations Task Force Gulf Coordinating Council, is to uh, mentor military units belonging to U.S. oil-rich Arab allies who collectively are known as the Gulf Coordinating Council. Now, that's the folks they basically used, headed up by al-Qaeda, to invade Libya and they're giving top secret clearance information, uh, of course, uh, on top of it uh, to the Muslim Brotherhood and others. And my point is, I'm told all day that uh, I'm supposed to give up all my liberties and, and, and freedoms because Al Qaeda is going to get me. Uh, but then our own government uh, is running these groups. And it's the same in every case. The underwear bomber on Christmas Day, U.S. government minion, comes out in congressional hearings. Uh, Amar al dining secretly at the Pentagon, number three in Al-Qaeda, Fox News, AP. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. Again, more on Iran coming up with Pepe Escobar and Rob Dew. Let's go ahead and get into the latest on election 2012 and the Republican primaries. But we've got to go back in time to January 3rd where there was almost a statistical dead heat where the uh, three uh, top contenders, that being Mitt Romney in number one, uh, of course, uh, the uh, other little neocon in number two, Santorum, and then Ron Paul in number three, just a few boats behind. And there were all these reports on local news confirming that in all these precincts that were pro-Ron Paul, just no votes got counted. They just disappeared. Of course, you, you're supposed to call them in from the caucus, but... They'd put them in trucks and they'd disappear. And the Republicans counted it at a secret location. We played the clip of Carl Rove saying, well, it was a gentleman's agreement that, that Santorum was second place and Mitt Romney was uh, first. And then really no mention of Ron Paul, who's since come in second in New Hampshire and is rising in the polls. And if the record of Mitt Romney simply comes out like it has on Genrich or Perry, who dropped out the Texas governor today, uh, it's over. Ron Paul's in, and the major polls show he'll destroy, like no other Republican candidate, Barack Obama. So Ron Paul is this close if the establishment corporate whore media wouldn't engage in all this fraud and lies and deceit and blackballing and blacking out of the congressman. But there's new developments in front of everyone today. They announced, you know what, a bunch of ballots didn't get counted in a bunch of different uh, precincts around the state. And the uh, major uh, newspapers in the area, like the Des Moines Register, didn't even mention Ron Paul in third. And uh, they continued in the news by saying, well, uh, the uh, election's unresolved, but 
It doesn't matter. We're just going to say it's Santorum, and we're just going to say that it's uh, now Mitt Romney in second, and just forget Ron Paul, and we'll do whatever we want with the delegates. We're not going to tell you right now, but that's just the way it is. So, so now when there's fraud, and they admit the election doesn't even count, they don't even get into the fraud part. It's just forget about it, go back to sleep. That's the way it is. Continuing here, uh, Genrich scandal could hand Ron Paul um, a shock second place finish in South Carolina. What we've already known is uh, now uh, coming out on ABC News, uh, one of the ex-wives, one of the, I guess, many ex-wives of uh, Newt Genrich, uh, the uh, globalist minion. Which one is the man and which one is the woman there? I think one of them is a woman posing as a man. When a man poses as a woman, it's called drag. What is it when a woman poses as a man? It's like that character on um, the uh, character on um, Saturday Night Live, Pat. That's an aging Pat. I, I've, I've decided that maybe that's an aging Janet Reno is actually, I don't mean to be mean, I'm sorry, a little bit of comic gallows humor here. To be serious, she, they think she's dying of cancer at the time. Genrich goes in, says, I'm divorcing you, and then go, uh, goes and tells uh, his uh, staff members who are on record that, well, she's too old and has cancer. I've got to have a hottie uh, to sell myself to the public. And, and what was that do? Oh, okay, okay, this one had MS and he left her. The other one had the cancer. Okay, I'm sorry. You know, the point is, the point is, don't, don't, don't get ill and don't need any help and death do us part. Uh, or, uh, or a nudie, nudie will basically catapult you out of his life. But he's a frugal man. That's why he has six hundred thousand dollar a month uh, accounts at uh, different uh, jewelry shops for his new trophy wife. I mean, what vapid empty. Uh, Empty, that's a new word, empty uh, globalist these people are. Remember, it is teleprompter free news. I want you to remember that. Okay, continuing here. Massive opposition research file on Romney hits internet, likely from the 2008 McCain campaign. And, and none of this is really a secret, uh, though it is a mausoleum of skeletons coming out of that closet uh, in a big way right now. Romney's pays almost no taxes. 15% uh, or lower when a blue collar worker pays more than that. Uh, he's got just untold millions in bank accounts in the Cayman Islands, you name it. Regular person tries that, you go to prison. But who do they just hire to, report to replace the mob boss daily for Obama as his head economic advisor? They hired the other head of Bain Capital which Romney still owns part of. I mean, it, it's all one big, happy, disgusting family uh, with these people. And uh, now uh, here's another report out of the opposition file. Romney parks millions in Cayman Islands. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, continuing here, uh, shifting gears into the SOPA bill. Um, Lord Obama has gotten a lot of money from Hollywood, obviously, who supported hijacking the internet, banning free speech, getting rid of due process, letting them shut down any site they want as a big government excuse for censorship. And so now Hollywood uh, is uh, saying, well, we're not going to support you financially because Obama saw which way the wind was blowing and said he would not support SOPA now. Uh, the problem is he said he wouldn't sign the NDAA and did. He just knows Congress can't pass it right now, so it's all theater, and it's theater out of Hollywood. I mean, not that you would see theater out of Hollywood. I mean, I know they're not involved in theater, thespian, vaudevillian uh, BSing, but uh, there you have it, <laughs> conspiracy theory. I mean, Hollywood involved in theater, I apologize. Okay, uh, let's continue here. Carl Rove wrote that last line. We actually have teleprompters everywhere in here. Uh, speaking of globalist rats stabbing each other in the back, uh, quoted in the Deadline Hollywood article, uh, globalist Rupert Murdoch is quoted as saying, so Obama has thrown in his lot with Silicon Valley paymasters who threaten all software uh, creators with piracy, plain thievery, uh, which is actually true. So I guess Rupert Murdoch does occasionally uh, tell the truth. Now, shifting gears uh, out of that, uh, UN soldiers from sex abuse video freed in Haiti. This is standard fare for the UN everywhere they go. UN soldiers are the most vicious war crimes committing military I've ever uh, seen in modern history. Uh, but that's what the local Haitians have basically put up. That's an actual photo or composite of photos of Haitians protesting. Over a year ago, the Haitians said, 
They're bringing diseases here like cholera and other things that we've never had, polio. The UN soldiers are bringing it, and we think it's on purpose because it's spreading in all the camps that they run. There's a lot of other aid camps run by other groups, private groups, no problems. It's in the UN camps, and they're abusing us. And the Western media said, that's a conspiracy theory. You know, these Haitians ju just don't appreciate all the wonderful help they've been given. Well, now it's admitted the raping, the killing, the torturing, and that, yes, major studies are out. The, the main diseases have been brought in by the UN rape keepers. You've heard of Oath Keepers. These are child rape keepers. And they've now been released, even though there's videos of them raping children, teenagers, men, uh, you name it. They have an insatiable appetite. And so I thought that I would uh, uh, show you a few news articles here from just the last few years. Just type into the search engine, the NSA globalist search engine, Google or whatever you use, uh, UN sex crimes, UN sex slavery, uh, child kidnapping, UN, and you'll see their exploits. I mean, they get caught routinely and never get in trouble. Here's London Independent, UN shame over sex scandal. And it just breaks down how all over the world, everywhere they go, the public just runs in abject fear uh, because they don't just rape you or kill you or roast you over open flames. There's photos of that. If you think I'm joking, just type in UN peacekeepers roast children. You'll, I'm not going to show it here, but you can look at it if you want. Uh, they didn't get in trouble for that either. Uh, in that case, it was Belgian peacekeepers roasting uh, Somali children. Uh, here's another one. A second Russian firm punishes staffer for sex abuse on UN work. There's Reuters. Here's another one. Peacekeeper sex scandals linger on screen and off. That's the New York Times. Here's a key uh, Chicago Tribune article from 2005, because this was accompanied by congressional hearings. UN stalls on human trafficking. Pentagon has yet to ban contractors from using forced labor. And if you actually watch these congressional hearings, uh, 